on popular demand i am putting up this video to illustrate how you can calculate percentages beyond 100 that is the original number if the original number is say 72 then the new number the percentage 150 percent 125 percent 175 percent of that number will be more than the original number so whatever percentages are beyond 100 percent the new number that is the obtained number will be greater than the original number so let's study 150 percent 125 percent and 175 percent because if i tell you all the percentages in one video then it will be very difficult for you so i will be illustrating only these three percentages in this video that how do you calculate 125 percent of 84 and so on now these things are just done in mind now if you have proper knowledge of the basics of percentages and you are aware of the previous videos which i have posted you can see in the playlist percentages tricks then these things will be very easy for you so let us take up some examples for 150 percent of a number suppose we have a number 24 and we need to calculate 150 percent so just forget 100 percent just see 50 percent now if you are aware that 50 percent of a number is actually half of that number then your problem is solved very very quickly how you do, do that 24 half of 24 is very easy 12 so just add half of this number to the original number you get 150 percent of the original number you can take some more examples see we have suppose 98 and we want to calculate 150 percent of 98 so if you can half 98 98 half of that is 49 so if you just add these two 130 and 17 147 is your answer so 150 percent of 98 is 147 likewise you can have some larger examples say 183 now see 183 180 you can have 90 and 3 1.5 so 91.5 is the half of this number and now the problem is just to add these two numbers so 0.5 will be there obviously 3 plus 1 4 9 plus 8 17 and 2 so 274.5 is 150 percent of 183 more examples say we have 2480 so half of this is 1240 add them up 36 37 20 is the required answer so how much time you take to solve this i don't think more than three seconds to find 150 percent of a number now let's carry on this trick for finding 125 percent now see now you must be aware of 25 percent now what is 25%? 25% of a number is one quarter. That is if you take half of a number two times, then what you obtain is 25%. So let's have an example here. Suppose we need to calculate 25% of 36. So 36 gives you 18. 18 gives you 9. So see, I have taken half of 36, then half of 18 this number is actually 25 percent now add these two numbers 36 plus 9 you get your final answer 45 that is 125 percent of 36 so here we have directly taken the half of 24 and added the two numbers we got 150 percent but while taking 125 percent you have to take half of the number and then again half that number and Add it to the original number to get the required answer. So let's have one more. Suppose you have 120. So half of 120 is 60 and half of 60 is 30. So add these two numbers 150. This is 125 percent of 120. See one more example. Suppose we have 848. Now see I have taken a larger number here. 
so half of 848 four 24 and half of 424 just write it under with this 2 1 2 and now add so 1060 is 125% of 848 so you see students knowledge of 50% and 25% will enable you to find 150% and 125% of a number also Finally, we have one hundred and seventy-five percent. Now, suppose we need to calculate one seventy-five percent of a number. So now we are required to know what is seventy-five percent of a number. Now, how do you find the seventy-five percent of a number? See, suppose you have the number as forty. I am taking a very simple number just to illustrate, and then we can carry on with some complex examples. For finding seventy-five percent, just take half. Twenty. Take one more time. Half. This is ten. And now, whatever number you have obtained, just multiply it by three. Because see, if you take half two times, this is twenty-five percent. So I am multiplying this twenty-five percent by three to get seventy-five percent. So what do we obtain here? This is thirty. And add it to the original number, you get hundred and seventy-five percent of forty. As seventy. More examples. So suppose we have one eighty eight. Now we want to find one hundred and seventy five percent of one eighty eight. So take half, you get ninety four. Take half, you get forty seven, and multiply it by three. So three seven zero twenty one two twelve plus two fourteen. Now add these two results. Three hundred and twenty-nine is the required answer. One seventy-five percent of one eighty-eight is three hundred and twenty-nine. Final example. Suppose we have the number in thousands now. Two thousand four hundred eighty. Okay, eighty. Now let's take half of this. This is one two four zero. Take half of this. This is six hundred twenty. And now you need to multiply this by three. So zero, six, eighteen. Add the numbers. So four three four zero is one seventy five percent of this required pages. This time we are going to find percentages above one hundred percent, ending with five. Like we have one hundred and five percent of a number. Hundred and fifteen percent, likewise, hundred and ninety-five percent, or you can carry forward that process beyond two hundred percent also. Sometimes in competitive exams, we are asked questions uh, which are based on this important shortcut. So, how do we calculate all these percentages orally and mentally within four to five seconds time? Now, here I go for calculating the percentages ending with five. We need to know what is ten percent of a number. Please see the playlist of videos on percentages on the channel for all the videos of percentages, so that you can form a good foundation of this trick. Now suppose we have the number seventy-two. So ten percent of seventy-two is just obtained by putting a decimal one digit from the right side. So this becomes seven point two. So what is five percent of a number? Five percent is half of ten percent. So just take half of seven point two. You get three point six as the answer. That is five percent of seventy two. Now this much is enough for you to calculate all percentages ending with five beyond one hundred percent. Now let's take an example to illustrate this. Suppose we need to calculate one hundred and five percent of eighty. A very simple example. Just to illustrate the concept. Now see, just give one hundred. We are bothered about how much portion of percentage is above one hundred. This is five percent. So what is ten percent of eighty? Now ten percent of eighty is actually eight. That is obtained by putting a decimal one digit from the right side. So that is eight point zero or eight. So half of this. You have to take the half of this. You get four. 
Now this 4 is actually 5%, 5% of 80. So once you have found out the 5%, you just need to add 80, that is the original number, which is also called 100%. And what is 5%? It is 4. So your answer for the question is 84. Now you will be able to calculate 105% of any number very easily using this trick. Say, we have 246 and you need to calculate 105% of 246. So 246 will obviously be there because that is 100%. Now what will I add to this? So 10% of 246 is 24.6. Take the half 12.6. 3 and add then you get 258.3 as the answer 105% of 246. Very easy, right? Just a little bit of practice and I am sure you will come through this method. Now take some other percentage. Let's take 115%. Suppose we need to calculate 115% of any number, say 340. Now see 15%, how much is above 100%, it is 15%. So you need to add 340 and add something to that. And what is that something? Then that is 15% of 340. So 100% plus 15%, that is 115%. So 340 plus, now how you calculate 15%? You just split 15% into two parts, that is 10% and 5%. What is 10%? Put a decimal one digit from the right side, you get 34. So 100 plus 10 percent, that is 110 percent. And how do you find the 5 percent? Take the half of 10 percent. 10 percent is 34, so half of that is 17. So how do we calculate this? 115 percent is actually broken into three parts, that is 100 percent, 10 percent and 5 percent. Now things are very easy. 51, so 391 is the required answer. Now let's understand this process using some more examples. So this is the fourth one. We need to calculate 145% of, say the number is 1200. See, I'll break this into 100% plus 4 times 10%. This is 40% plus 5%. This is 145 percent. So 100 percent is 1200 plus 4 times 10 percent is 120 and 5 percent half of 120 is 60. So 1200 plus this is 480 plus 60 540. So total 1740 is the required percentage. Now you can generalize this method for finding any percentages like this. Suppose you need to calculate 185% of 2480. So this is broken down into 100% plus 8 into 10% plus 5%. So 100% means 2480 plus 8 times 10% is 248. And if 10% is 248, then half of this is 124. Now you can Simplify this 8 into 64, 4 having 6 carry, 8 goes up 32 plus 6, 38, 3, 8 to the 16 plus 3, 19, and 124. Now you can add 4 plus 4, 8, 2, 10, 18, 1, so 2, 11, 15, 1, 2, 4, 4588 is the required percentage. Age concept. Calculation of percentages above 100% can be very easy if you know the basics of percentages which I have posted in my previous videos on this playlist of percentages. Let us understand how 110%, 120%, 130%, so on up to 190% and even beyond 200% you can calculate within 3 to 4 seconds time just by knowing little bit of mental mathematics tricks relating to percentages. So here I go. I'll take a very simple example, say 70, this is the number and we need to calculate 110% of this. So what we do here is, 
to consider this 110 as 100 plus 10 and 100% of any number is actually the number itself and 10% of any number is obtained by putting a decimal one digit from the right side. So 70 becomes 7.0 or simply 7 and your answer comes out to be 77. So 110% of 70 is 77. Likewise, if you want to calculate say 120% one, of any number say 130. So consider this as 100 plus 100% 100 plus twice of 10%. Twice of 10% is 20%. So 100% means the number itself and twice of 10% means 13.0. So 13. So if you calculate this, this is 26 and your answer is 156. Very easy, isn't it? Let's take two, three more examples. Here we have the number 140% of 800. Now see 180% can be considered, 140% beg your pardon, can be considered as 100% plus 4 times 10%. So 100% means 800, the number itself, and 4 times 10% means 80, this is 320. So 800 plus 320 is 1120, which is the required percentage. So you see, knowledge of this kind of tricks will enable you to calculate any percentage very, very easily. Let's take more examples. Say we have 170% of 1850. So this is 100% plus 7 times 10%. So 100% is the number itself and 7 times 10% is 185. Now, this is a simple calculation. 1850 plus, this is 7 5 is 35, 5 3 carry. So 7 is a 56, 59, 5, so 7 1 is 7, 12. So just add them 30 and the answer comes out to be 5, 4, 11, 3. So 3145 is the required percentage. So students, you can calculate any percentage, any round figure percentage of any number for that matter very, very easily using this amazing shortcut of percentages. So continue watching this series of videos for learning more videos on percentages. And if you like the video, do share it and subscribe the channel.